In December of 1976, police received an anonymous phone call saying that a pimp by the name of Walter Childs had been murdered. When they went to his apartment, they found him lying on his bed. He had been shot once in the head and had been stabbed several times. Because Walter Childs had been a known drug dealer and pimp, the police suspected that perhaps one of his prostitutes had killed him. Two women, Patricia Beebe and Elizabeth Malls, were brought in for questioning, but they denied having anything to do with the murder. When police searched his apartment, there were no fingerprints or other evidence to be found. As they were leaving, one of the investigators noticed a freshly chewed wad of gum stuck to the top of the dresser. It looked like it contained the impression of somebody's bite mark. But who left it there? The victim or the killer? The gum was brought to forensic dentist Dr. Norman Sperber, who immediately made a mold of the gum. Then he took dental impressions from the victim as well as from the two suspects. Incredibly, the mold of the gum fit perfectly into one of Patricia Beebe's teeth. Fortunately for the police, Beebe had had root canal work done on one of her central incisors. The filling had fallen out and left a large hole in the tooth. It was that hole that had left its unique impression in the gum. Faced with the evidence, Patricia Beebe confessed to the crime. Why she left the gum on the dresser is anybody's guess.